What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is a review for the TCL link port. Now you can get this for free if you get it through T-Mobile or it's like less than hundred bucks. It's really inexpensive and it is a USB dongle that you can plug into almost any device and get internet with 5G internet, 4G and 5G internet. Inside the box you get a USB cable, USB-C to be precise, and then you get the dongle right here. Now the dongle doesn't really have anything going on with it in terms of buttons or anything. It's going to have some LED lights that will light up, which I'll show you in just a moment uh, when you plug this in directly into a device. And then to access the SIM card port, all you're going to do is just kind of dig your finger uh, on the side here and peel it off. And I'll show you that right now. So on the back side, not where it says TCL, but on the back side along the edge, you just peel this off and it will come right off when you're trying to access the SIM card. It takes a, I guess that's a micro SIM, goes in right there. You also have all of your, uh, that's pretty much it actually. There's a reset button in there too. So a reset button and the SIM card. And then that's basically all you gotta do. You just put this back and you snap it right on and you are ready to use it. Now there is a sticker inside this box that allows you to log into the interface of this from a computer if you want and I'll show you um, that but basically that's really all that's in the box there's a walkthrough guide in here as well which actually is really helpful which shows you everything that comes inside the box if you want to zoom in you can pause it and zoom in and then here's some more instructions to walk you through how to peel off the side or how to use it and all that kind of stuff so very helpful instructions uh, and very easy to follow now to use it all you're gonna do again plug one end of this USB-C cord into this and then the other end into basically anything from uh, Mac OS to iPhone or uh, iPad OS. You can plug it into Android, you can plug it into Windows, Mac, literally almost anything, Android phone and it will work. I'll show you a couple of devices. So all I'm gonna do again is just plug in the USB-C port here onto the side of my MacBook here and after a handful of seconds, this light will turn from like gr yellow to gr two green lights and that's when I know it's connected. Other than that, while that loads up, you're gonna get a couple of pop-ups, at least on your Mac, that says allow accessory to connect. Just hit allow to that and that's basically it. And if you're using a Mac, you do wanna disable your Wi-Fi. Uh, turn the Wi-Fi off, otherwise it's gonna end up using your Wi-Fi over the dongle. But beyond that, it will eventually just connect to the dongle. So now I can use it. You can see I see you get two green lights right there. Now to use this, all you're gonna do is put in the password. Again, the password's on a sticker inside this box that you will have. And then once you log in with that password, it will ask you to enter a different password to change it if you want. Otherwise you can, can, you can keep that default password. Um, I changed it to something a little bit easier and memorable. But this is the interface that you get uh, when you come on here and you have your status, you have uh, serve, and it tells you if you're connected to what network and what's your IP address, what's your IPv6 address, if you're connected or not. Uh, you go to services if you have anything there and you can, it looks like, I guess you can send text messages from this because you do get like a phone number. It won't ring or anything, but I guess you can send text messages. Uh, here's some settings. I switched this, you can, by default, once this shows up, if it shows up, uh, there's a drop down here that was is set to connect to LTE and 5G. I just sent it to, uh, it's set to auto actually. I just set it to 5G SA. I'll set this back. I was just doing some testing on it and um, it worked fine on five. It's, it had the same speeds. I didn't notice any difference. I was just trying to force it to see if I could get a different speed. Um, you have a mobile network you can check. You, got your, you can turn this into basically like a, a router, you have a firewall, advanced settings. You can even update the settings on here. So you go to system and you can go to firmware update. I didn't have any when I checked earlier today, uh, but it will allow automatic updates to happen. So you see automatic updates will help your device discover new features or fix patches. So I would definitely would uh, either come in here periodically or make sure, uh, or it will just install the update for you. Now on my Mac, I did try this to see how, uh, you know, if I could stream 4K video and it did allow me to. So you can see I'm at 2160, uh, 60 HDR4K. It's like super high quality video and it plays it 
completely fine. I did notice, like, let's just see how quick it is. Not fast as my Wi-Fi at home, but you can see I loaded up pretty quick and it stayed at, I'll just show you, I'll move up a little bit further into it. This, this is taking, yeah, but it's pretty quick in terms of like just bumping up ahead on video. Here's a speed test. Um, I definitely get faster speeds with, or at least I did with my like T-Mobile home internet when I had that going on. I was getting like 500, 600, even on a T-Mobile phone, I'll get like five or 600. This, the fastest I got was like 110 megs down. Um, this is kind of average of what I'm getting on here. Uh, you can see I'm getting got 70 and about 20 and that's kind of what I was getting with uploads regardless is around the 20s uh, Low 20s, but still I know it's not the fastest that they have to offer in terms of speed, but it's been reliable and it, 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 The speeds are definitely plenty fast to do anything you want obviously 500 would be great but you know just loading stuff up is is like i said is really really good um i'll load up twitter here just to show you how fast that loads up and you go load up pretty quick not too bad ice universe's page so everything loads up pretty quick in terms of the speeds very very happy with that now since this is a dongle i can literally like i said plug it into any device so on your phone if you want to try this out or a phone you don't have like internet turn off wi-fi turn off mobile data and then just plug this in and you'll get that same thing going on. It's gonna hit be yellow, and then in just a few moments, it'll be green. All right, you can see that it's now green, and if I open up anything, it'll be showing that specific internet. So I'll just open up a web page. Here we go, I'm on Android Police's website. I'll click on this, and it loads up, no problems. YouTube. We were gonna talk about it. There you go. No problem, it's playing it great. So you can do, you can use, uh, think of this, you can use a Android tablet, Android phone, you can use a Mac computer, you can use an iOS device, which I'll show next, uh, a Windows, the PC, whatever you want. All you do is just plug it in and basically just use it. All right, I turned off all my datas on my iPhone, and this will simulate an iOS device or iPad OS device, and I'll show you that in just a moment once we get the two green lights on here. Okay, super quick, I got the green lights connected to my iPhone, and we will show you the internet works here. And I got my speed test on, and remember, this is a T-Mobile device, so you can see T-Mobile, T-Mobile, we'll hit go just to see what, uh, uh, what I get for speeds on here. Let's, uh, sorry, allow, there we go. And this one's giving me slightly better speeds than the computer, but I did get these kind of speeds on the computer as well when I was testing it at different times, but I definitely don't get anything, again, higher than 110, uh, which I got on one test, and then the upload speed's pretty, you know, similar as well. Uh, this one's 24, I think on the computer is running at like 22. So you definitely get very, you know, decent speeds, not the fastest that T-Mobile has to offer, but definitely fast enough to do whatever you want. So what I love about this is that it plugs into literally almost anything. So if you have a MacBook, you can turn it into a 5G MacBook. Or if you bought a tablet that doesn't have internet, now your tablet will, and you can pull it out and put it into a different device as well so it's really nice to be able to put this literally into anything a windows computer a mac computer uh apple or android tablet apple or android phone literally almost anything that can connect or has, has the ability to almost connect to the internet you can use this and super inexpensive on t-mobile site and the uh the, if you depend upon what plan you choose or if you already have a plan it might not even be that much more expensive to add data to it and now it's t-mobile only compatible so keep that in mind and then also the other detriment to the not that t-mobile is a detriment but the other the detriment to this is that the speeds just i'm the ones that i'm getting that i've gotten in my house with other devices is not nearly as fast on this device as it is in others but to come back onto that is the speeds are plenty fast to stream really high quality video and they're also plenty fast to download pretty much anything you're literally getting about 100 megs per second at least that's what i'm getting and again when i've tested other devices i've gotten up to five or six hundred megs with t-mobile but still very fast but something to know thanks for watching i'll link this down below if you want to pick it up and we'll see you guys down the road peace